friends this is Gulzar Ahmed and you are watching my youtube channel learning with Gulzar Ahmed so today our topic is about saving function what is the saving function earlier we discussed about consumption function consumption is also a function of income so this is a saving function saving is also a function of income saving is a function of income and that's a positive relationship saving is a function of income and there is a positive relationship if income increases then saving is also increases and if income decreases then saving is also decreases so the importance of saving function is for intermediate graduation and master's economics classes what is the saving function saving is a function of income and there is a positive relationship if income increases then saving is also increases and if income decreases then saving is also decreases so that if income increases then saving is also increases and if income decreases then saving is also decreases there are two components of saving function one is called average propensity to save average propensity propensity to save and the second is marginal marginal propensity to save so first of all we discuss about average propensity to save the definition and formula average propensity to save average propensity to save is denoted as APS average propensity to save and the formula of average propensity to save is saving over income. What is the definition of average propensity to save? The, def the ratio between saving and income is called average propensity to save. The ratio between saving and income is called average propensity to save. Suppose that our income is equal to $1,000. And uh, consumption is equal to seven hundred dollar. Then what is the saving? Saving saving is equal to income minus consumption. Income is equal to one one thousand dollar, and consumption is equal to seven hundred dollar. So the saving is equal to income minus consumption, and this is equal to three hundred dollar. Um, now we put the values of saving and income in formula. Saving is equal to $300 and income is equal to $1000. So this is equal to 0.3. Second is marginal propensity to save. What is the marginal propensity to save? The formula of marginal propensity to save is marginal propensity to save is denoted as MPS. MPS. The formula of MPS is equal to delta S over delta Y. Delta S change in saving and delta Y change in income. So the definition of marginal propensity to save is change in saving due to change in income is called marginal propensity to save. Suppose that if our income is equal to $1,000 and consumption is equal to $700 then the saving is equal to $300 now our income increase from $1000 to $1500 $1500 and consumption increase from $700 to $1000 so the saving is equal to save, saving saving is equal to income minus consumption so income is equal to $1,500 while consumption is equal to $1,000 so saving is equal to $1,500 minus $1,000 so this is equal to $500 so what is change in saving first change in uh, saving is equal to $300 and now uh, saving is equal to $500 and delta S is equal to $200 and delta Y is equal to uh, how, how much delta y? First income is equal to $1000 and now income is equal to $1500. So that 
delta y is equal to delta y is equal to 500 dollar so putting the values of uh, delta s and delta y in formula delta s is equal to 200 dollar delta y is equal to 500 dollar so this is equal to 0 0.4 it is be noted that mps always lies between mps always lies between 0 to 1 so i think you understand the topic uh, thank you very much uh, and please like share and uh, subscribe this channel happy